Hey there, welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Today I'm going to be doing some more Tommy Johansson with his version of Phantom of the Opera, a song I've obviously heard a million times, but I'm interested in hearing his version of it. Um, this was requested by Mary Camucci. I hope that's your how you pronounce your name. I believe last time I did one of your requests, I <laughs> mispronounced it. Or pronounce it differently. One of, I'm not sure which one is correctly, or if neither of them are. And it's also requested by Thomas Hogland. Um, Tommy is such an incredible musician. It's so fun to watch him um, do his thing, watch him play, watch, listen to him sing, watch him have fun. He enjoys doing this so much, and that makes all the difference in the world. Um, then I'm really excited to see this, so here we go. Good start. I love the um, metal version of it. That's always my favorite version of the of this song. I mean, the original is cool and all, but nothing like adding guitar and bass and drums and stuff to to a good musical song. Um, his voice is amazing as usual. I mean, it's not it's not a question. Um, I'm interested in seeing where he goes with the finale of the of the song it's i don't know if he's gonna i know he's got super wide range and can get really high but i'm very interested in seeing where this goes to me in dreams he came that voice which calls to me and speaks my name Okay, um, the first verse where he's singing Christine's part, he just sang, which for um, Tommy is really good because he's such a great singer. But I really dug his um, Phantom voice. The, that second verse as the Phantom really dug that verse. The way he, the intonation of his voice just changed. And of course it was a little lower. He started out with a little bit of... Um, distortion in there but he just the whole tone of his voice changed between the two and i really dig his um phantom voice
Okay, I'm digging the instrumentation. Really, really cool. Um, a little bit of double bass going there. Really nice. I just it's such a, such good instrumentation. And of course his voice. Um, when he's going back and forth in the um, the conversation section of the of the song, it's just so cool how he can change his voice, the tone of his voice for each character. Really cool. Okay, that was Tommy Johansson with Phantom of the Opera. Great job. I love, I mean, like, like I said at the beginning, I've heard the song, you know, a thousand times. Um, of course, I've seen, heard the Nightwish version with Floor and with um, Taria. I've heard, you know, just a thousand different versions of it. I've heard the actual, I've, I've actually seen the Phantom uh, it wasn't on Broadway, it was actually in Los Angeles for a band trip and when I was in high school, although we missed the first half because it was winter and our plane was late. So we showed up to the Phantom of the Opera, a bunch of high school kids dressed in sweats and torn jeans and t-shirts because we went straight from the airport to the Phantom and got there during intermission. Um, you should have seen the people dressed in tuxedos and almost ball gowns <laughs> looking at the, all these kids coming in dressed straight off the plane. It was pretty interesting, but this is a really good version of it. I love, like I said, the instrumentation, what he did with the, the guitar and the drums and everything. And of course his voice was a spectacular, that high note at the end. Amazing. He's just such a great musician all around from vocals to his guitar. And I, this, I don't know if he played the drum for this or used the drum machine. I know he uses the drum machine a lot because he doesn't have room in his apartment for full drums. But I have heard that he is an amazing drummer. So <laughs> he's just got everything going for him. Um, I appreciate you watching this. Uh, if you like it, give it a like, comment. Any other um, uh, requests you have for Tommy or anybody really. I'm starting to feel like I maybe should have saved this one for, for Halloween. It was definitely a Halloween-ish song. Um, uh, please subscribe. Every subscription means the world. It helps the channel. It really does, and I appreciate it. And if you want to support my channel a little bit more directly, I do have a Patreon. The um, link for it's down in the description. And I appreciate all the everything you guys do for me. And I will talk to you all later.